the biggest problem was this you know when they uh, wanted to create a separate sikh identity was this they not only they were intermarrying their marriage rituals their birth ceremonies uh, their death ceremonies they were all the same so they created this new thing that you know they have to be separate so the birth separate now this for example you know the sikhs before that they were marrying by vedic rites you can read the british system or you can read the british travelers or the british government or the people who anybody has written so they created this anand marriage act in 1909 and you look at what is fascinating is this anand marriage act it is not passed in india the indians here the traditional scholars everybody is opposed to it so what british take is they take this anand marriage act to the imperial legislative uh, council what is imperial legislative council is in britain where only like prince links can come so they get this guy from naba to basically support it so they they get it in england and they forced it on us so again the separate identity for example now the other thing is you know they created this core now again this has been thought of you know uh, you know everybody thinks this is guru's order every sikh woman is a core this is also 100 year old uh, creation bhai core is a rajput title from cover and some women did have it but if you look at for example guru's wife she is called the mother of khalsa i again is from ganda sikh book you know you read i don't know maybe there are 8 or 10 letters by her you read in every letter bar none she has signed herself as saib devi she never called herself saib kaur but if you go uh, if you google or you go sgbc history or you go wikipedia you will find herself uh, find her saib kaur so you know uh, this is what they have done and you know what is so fascinating again you know the uh, uh, they said you know they went a step ahead you know for example this indian idea for example there is nothing like hinduism there is nothing like sikhism because we are not a confessional idea we are a, we are not a confession based system we are a knowledge based system so the system is all about gyan and we say wherever you come from gyan you know you bow your head that's why wherever we see a temple wherever we see a saint we bow down that was our entire idea and that's why everybody was uh, coming also to it but you look at it even the confessional faiths they were like you know you have to believe that muhammad is the prophet of god or you have to believe jesus is the son of god you know they also asked for positive positive affirmation but if you look at what the sgbc created because they wanted to dehinduize it they said to be a sikh it's not just you believe in gurus and you believe in the granth because but all the punjabi hindus believe it in it they are like you have to be not a sikh no you just imagine you know what they have done they have just like you know bypassed even the abrahamics by a long stretch you know this is the communal politics how can you say like you know like how can for example i can say uh, i am a hindu only if i believe in arya samaj and i don't believe in shak you can say okay so what kind of nonsense is this so you know this definition again what is what is to be a sikh nobody was concerned you know they were living by guru's teachings or something this idea of what is to be a sikh it has to be a negative definition that you are not a hindu that again comes from the british time 